Well, good afternoon, YouTube Pipe Community and Padre Piper. Um, great little uh, giveaway you're doing. I think it's awesome. Uh, the responses you've gotten have been pretty cool. Um, I'm doing this because I'd like to support your channel. I really, yeah, you know, I've been very blessed, so I really don't want to put my name in the running for the giveaway. So please, um, um, don't put me in the hat. I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, and yeah. So I'm, I'm going to do a little video for you for uh, for supporting your channel. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> I smoked it last night against my better judgment. I think you'll understand what I mean when I when I say that. <clears throat> and I'm paying for it today. Oh my goodness, I feel awful. But the night was so good last night. The weather was perfect. I mean, it was probably in the low 80s. I don't remember. It was just it was such a gorgeous, gorgeous night. So, I smoked a little bit, and I uh, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh well. Well, so your question was, um, what did I want to be when I grew up, uh, when I was a child? Um, I remember in, in grammar school, I wanted to be, initially, I wanted to be a... Uh, an astronomer. Um, I was always fascinated by space and the stars and planets and, and galaxies and supernovas and quasars and pulsars and all those fun things. Um, it was always really cool for me to uh, to read science books about space and, and uh, I would had the whole Isaac Asimov series. Um, I even watched uh, not Neil. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's, um, uh, which one is it? Um, oh, crud, I can't remember. Um, Cosmos, the original one. I, I watched the original Cosmos. Um, I've watched uh, Neil, Neil deGrasse Tyson's Cosmos. Um, it's just, it's so fascinating to me. Uh, so I, I always thought I'd be an astronomer or an astronaut of some sort um, but that's a very unrealistic goal for well most people um, the astronomer is not so much as the very competitive field so I felt um, in high school I'm like I'm not really gonna do that uh, I think I'm gonna be in the FBI I think I'm gonna go out for uh, to be an FBI agent I, I romanticized that role because of the X-Files and um, Silence of the Lambs, some some just great great cinema um, that depicted FBI agents as these really cool characters. I mean, in reality, I think it's much uh, less glamorous than it actually is. Um, and there's a lot more desk uh, work than they show. Um, so I didn't do that either. Uh, what I turned out to be, of course, uh, currently as a bank teller. Um, I'm a lead teller, so that, that means I'm in charge of the vault. I, uh, I, I control all the money. It's all mine. Not really, but it's a heavy responsibility. I, I don't get you know, paid as much as I'd like to get paid, but um, I have a, I'm very customer-centric. I get to talk with everybody that comes into the bank. Um, so it is a, uh, uh, for me it's an awkward job because I'm kind of an introvert. Uh, I tend to, at home, I'm very quiet and reserved and, and I like to keep to myself. Um, but at work I have no choice. I have to be a, uh, um, I have to be a customer service guru. <clears throat> so, it's not what I... I want to do for my whole life. I think uh, I think my time here is uh, limited. I guess you could call it. Uh, and and I don't know what I want to do when I grow up yet. I have some ideas for the future. Um, we'll just have to see where that takes me. But right now I'm a bank teller. Um, I still dream of uh, being an astronaut. That would be awesome. But I, I'm not physically mentally or emotionally prepared for that kind of thing so um, and if a buddy of mine who's in the Air Force um, can't get in I really don't have much of a shot <laughs> so
so but there there's my uh there's my story i'm sure we'll be talking soon since uh well i live minutes away which is awesome but i'm sure we'll be talking soon more about that more about my life but that's just a little uh a little peek into my window um so yeah thanks for the uh for the giveaway uh contest i hope somebody worthy wins it seems it seems like everybody has a really good entry so <clears throat> i'm sure every any whoever you pick is is uh gonna be thrilled um it's a cool little giveaway i remember k and b <laughs> I, I certainly remember that I, the one that i remember specifically um my mom taking me to was the one on i believe it's transcontinental and is it west esplanade yeah, by the by the the row bears. There was a, I think it's a Rite Aid now. I'm not 100 percent sure. I haven't been out that way in, in in quite a while. I mean, I've been down West Esplanade, but I just I don't look at the stores that often anymore. Um, but I think it's a Rite Aid now, and yeah, I remember that. I remember the K and B well. Purple, purple ink, yes. Um, and that's a fun fact that I didn't know that uh, that uh, K and B was the largest uh, purchaser. No, the Times Picayune was the largest purchaser of purple ink. And I think that's freaking funny. I love that. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's my story. And I guess I'm, uh, I'm, I guess I'm sticking to it. Uh, anyway, have an awesome day. Um, and thanks again. This is awesome.